Just us for now. Do you want to have a conversation with me? <laughs> we might be talking to ourselves completely on Australia now. So, hey, Mitchell. Hi. Hi. Hello. How are you, Kelly? I'm good. Fantastic. Kelly, have you met Craig? No, I haven't. Hello, Kelly. Well, nice to meet you. You know, Hi. you know this is Kelly, the only Kelly Wiseman. <laughs> How's your Australian day being, Kelly? I'm good. Fantastic. Been quiet at home, but good. I'm glad to hear that. Where are you located now? I'm in Sydney at the moment. Okay. Actually, make a note and maybe we'll put you on to. I think this is going to do some training in Sydney soon as well. Are you oh, aware? beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Sounds good. Hi, <laughs> How are you doing, Michelle? I'm good. How are you? Very good, thank you. Have you had a good Australia day? Um, yep, I just had a me day. <laughs> a me day, well that's very nice. <laughs> How about you, Ricky? Did you have a nice day? We did, thanks. Yeah, it was, a, it was a lovely day. Fantastic. Okay, hi Gwen. Beautiful. We're going to get started straight away and as people join in, they can just join in. Excellent. Okay. Thanks very much, everyone, for joining us. Um, please, as usual, um, if you'd like to ask any questions, please fire away. Just unmute yourself if you want to ask. Um, and uh, the floors are open, definitely. Just start off with, is there anyone who has any burning questions around the business perhaps or anything that they'd like to get answered or um, have any questions in follow up from last week around back office or systems and processes if you've got any questions. Nothing yet, good. I have a question. I don't know if you're gonna be able to help me with that. Sure. Uh, so I get paid by commission into my account, yep. like into my bank account. But on my screen, it says that I have a balance. And so it's like a balance of $10 or something, but I'm not sure why I haven't been paid that into my account and it's sitting on, as a, I think it's an AR balance. Yeah, so the, um, interesting question because uh, when did you set up your, um, your direct deposit? Was it right at the beginning or a little bit into the day? No. Um, no, it was probably only less than six months ago. Okay. So here's a question for you then. Um, that AR balance, has it sort of always looked like it had $10 in it? Sort of roundabout? No. No, it's always been zero. It's just this month that it's had $10 in it. Oh, okay. Probably it's um, a commission that's due to you. Okay. It might have been missed previously. So just have a look and see on the 15th. Um, of February when the run goes through, if it goes back to zero. Yeah. Um, right. if, if it doesn't, then we'll just get on the phone and check with customer service what it is. Yeah. No problem. It's really nice to find something in your IR balance, so um, I wouldn't worry <laughs> about it. I'll go, ooh, ooh. <laughs> It'd be great if it had a couple extra zeros on it. I know. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> All right, excellent. Oh, Any... Um, any other questions just following on from the last couple of weeks? Anyone have any? Okay. Um, I know, Annabelle, um, you posted just quickly off the back of Tess's post on the event tonight. What were our thoughts possibly around the difference between um, just having a Facebook page and or a Facebook group? Um, mm -hmm. What uh, what is your are you just considering which way to go there, Annabelle, or are you thinking about what the difference? Uh, I kind of um, 
I mean, I understand the differences. I've had, um, I mean, I've got a few. <laughs> I'm trying to actually, me, trying to work out how to consolidate my social media things. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I mean, I've already got my What Annabelle Cooks Facebook page, which is active and is large. Like, I've got a large following there. But I don't want to inundate people with oils and turn people off who think they're just there for cooking things. I don't mind doing a bit there, but um, I've got a VIP private group for the people in my team. Yeah. But I've also had a, not a public group, but a closed, but open to anybody, uh, what Annabelle Cook's Essential Oils group, where I've shared a lot of things. But I've just been thinking that that might be better off turned into a page that I can more publicly share and be more active on that. Mm. Um, so I suppose I'm just interested in what other people are doing and how they're managing that. Um, yeah. Sure. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Has anyone got any um, sort of ideas around what works for them around whether they use a Facebook page or a group um, or just their personal page at the moment? Anyone find anything that's working well for them? I, I just use... Um a group because I think with a page if people aren't continually liking your um, you know posts then they sort of you drop off their news feed they won't see them whereas I think with the with a group they'll get a notification if they want to receive a notification every time you post something and you know some people like I'm on a lot of doTERRA pages now um, and you know and, and people when they first join it can be a bit daunting being added to all these pages and we just say, mm -hmm. okay, well, turn your notifications off if you don't want to receive them and then just check in every, you know, at the end of a day or every couple of days just to see what's going on on the page. Absolutely. I, sure. I, I tend to agree with you there, Minion. I, I've actually done exactly the same thing because um, every single one, you know, everyone, but so many of our um, team members have actually asked um you know ask me to like their page and you know you've got to be a bit mindful because it can become extremely overwhelming um mm -hmm. for all of us and especially for new members if suddenly they are you know invited to so many different pages to join as well so um yeah i think in terms of annabelle and minion as well and what we're doing is try and minimise the um, exposure. People, you know, you're going to get people who want to join up with, you know, 50 different pages. But when you've got new clients, I think a page is a good idea, or a group is a good idea, I should say. I'm actually meaning yeah. a group, a private mm -hmm. group. And, um, uh, yeah, and then it becomes more specialised for you and, and just, a, you know, a select number of people. We will only, and I'm sure you're doing the same as well, Minion, is accept people into the group um, who are in our downline. So we, they must be in our downline to, to be a member in our group. And yeah. that, that works. Yeah. That works nicely. Yeah. I, I think yeah. people... I suppose so I'm just wondering, in part, maybe it's because I'm used to promoting all the cooking stuff. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking um, more about how to balance that promotion and getting the word out there on a social media presence, sure. um, aside from just, yeah, I mean, I, I would maintain my, you know, Facebook group, the group for um, my team. I suppose I'm wondering in terms of the other group I've got set up, which is a bit more general, um, whether, I suppose I'm contemplating ter not turning it into a page, but getting rid of that and setting up a page that is more public and can be more shareable and sure. that kind of thing. Yeah, and I, I think... I'm um, just wondering, in terms of that more marketing online presence, I don't want to inundate my what I know cooks followers with too much oil stuff, although it's a nice captive market. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, I want to be able to promote it as well. So I don't know. I, I suppose I'm just struggling with that. Sure. I don't want to manage... I mean, I already manage too many social media things. I'm trying to consolidate but not annoy everybody and how do I, you know, but yet get things in the face of people that want to see it. So I suppose I'm just trying to work out that. So, so that was where my question was coming from. I was going to say, Annabelle, you, I think the other difference too with setting up a page is you can set up a shop now 
tab, yep. you can set up yeah. a shut now button. Whereas a group, you can't. Because I just had um, yeah. Regan, who's over in um, Perth, she was asking the difference too between a page and that. And yeah, so the page, you you have that fun, you have that ability to be able to have a yeah. shop now. And, and a page you can so promote. Good. Like you can do paid advertising with a page that you can't do with a group as well. That's so, yeah. Yeah, there are, a, yeah, I suppose, yes. It's, it, there's no right or wrong. I'm just interested in what other people do and trying to yeah, work right. out. In the end, you find out, the more you find out, the more you'll find, you know, more people that you can speak to will um, give you whatever it is that will suit you best. I'm, I've, I've constantly got this little battle as well because I've got a personal page, I've got my business page for naturopathy and, uh, and then we've got this Facebook group, yeah. group as well. And, um, yeah, it becomes a little bit sticky sometimes. Um, so yeah. consolidate things. But, um, yeah, we'll just have to find out whatever works for you and, and make that work. Mm. But a fair enough question because I think people, you know, as, you, as your team grows, it's important to be there for them on a Facebook presence um, uh, because mm. most people are on Facebook. But I think that you also ask about what, how do you connect with people who are not on Facebook? I'm like, what do you mean you're not on Facebook? How do you get in your life if you're not on Facebook? <laughs> there are a lot of people, and I'm just going to say, especially people who are very, very privacy conscious, um, yeah. and and I think there's a fair number of uh, the, uh, the much older generation of, of people who are not on Facebook. Um, so that that is that's some, that's a good question. I don't know if I have the, an answer for you there, other than personal face to face contact, a phone call, a, mm. a chat every now and then, and which they might really enjoy. You know that little, you know. But where do you find all this time to do that when Facebook kind of does ridiculous. that for you? You know. Yeah, I suppose part of where my question's coming from is that I've got two people who have just recently signed up and who I think could be interested in the business side of it. I'm thinking mm. how realistically, I mean, do I support a broader number of people? You know, as far as well remembering who's not on Facebook. So I've written a list of the people, there's about four or five, you know, that aren't. And so how being more deliberate in disseminating information to them because I just assume if it's on Facebook, people can search for it. But if they're not on it, then they're not going to know if I've shared a post about how fabulous loyalty rewards are or um, if they're wanting to build a, you know, a business. I don't, I don't know. know how even just, just, yeah. like your event on Saturday, I had, to, I had to work out how to actually yeah. provide them with the invite for that. And, yeah. you know, those sorts of things. Is, I mean, you know, <laughs> I said to one friend, can you just make up a name and... What, yeah, what are the fears? You know, what fears do people have around Facebook? I don't know that. So I mean, it is a very personal choice. Um, until we, yeah. <laughs> until there's a, you must have a Facebook page to be a business builder. Rules. No, no, no. no I'm just care. wondering how other people support maybe their team or other builders if you've got them that aren't on Facebook, and whether you, you know, whether you do that deliberately or incidentally or not at all or whatever. Don't know. Don't yeah. have an answer for you. I think it would be very difficult personally okay. to build a business without Facebook and that to have that, um, you know, to have that uh, connection with people on a regular basis. I think it might be really difficult. Um, so I don't know if anyone else yeah. on this, uh, um, has an answer on this. Just unmute yourself and and, and offer a yeah. We've, chat. we've had a comment around um, some folks around thinking thinking about doing a newsletter. Um, I know, I think, Annabelle, you do a monthly newsletter anyway, don't you? Which I think is part of your What Annabelle Cooks. Um, yeah, I do. Um, so we, we, yeah. Do a, we do a monthly newsletter to basically everyone that we've in, ever enrolled. Um, yeah. And I generally put in that newsletter a link to a blog if there's anything that's relevant on the blog. So you then draw them to a website if you run a website as well. So I suppose if you, if you get to that point. And I suppose if you think about what the guys at Share Success have done using texting, you kind of think, well, is it something that you should think about introducing as well, where if you put out some really important information, if you know that there are eight or ten people, have yeah. you got a system that you can send out eight texts easily? And there are online systems that can do that for you. 
where you can just say, yeah. I'm going to send a text to these eight people, and in the text it has a link to uh, a web-based article or something. So I suppose if you really want to build yeah, that way, there are ways to do it. Yeah. Um, I've, I've also talked about, um, not but thought I was, I've, because I'm using Lead Train, there are avenues to do that too, and maybe set up a, you know, a series just for people aren't on Facebook, so I'm more deliberate about that. So that could be fit in with this letter slash text. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. as well. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Um, Thanks, well, thank you. That's great. Um, so just a reminder to everyone, Saturday afternoon, we've got a hall that we've booked in Paddington, just out the back of Suncorp Stadium. Um, we'll be there from 12.30 for a one o'clock start. Um, we're basically going to run an agenda that is a essential oil introductory class, which, we'll show you how to do which class. Tess will do a demo together with myself on how to run that class. So anyone's welcome to come along. If you've got any, any potential newbies who you'd like to bring, um, it'll be great to see you all there. Um, we've, we've scheduled from one o'clock through till four, uh, but we'll see how we go time-wise. We'll run the class, um, then we'll have a bit of a break. We've got some video footage of some of the doTERRA um, Kali Impact sourcing material, um, just to kind of share a little bit more about what the business is about. Uh, we will talk about, after that, some of the other products that are involved in the business that doTERRA do sell. Uh, which I think is a great opportunity to share with other folks as well. We'll certainly cover the introduction to how you can earn with doTERRA and basic building, um, and then be open for questions from anyone who comes along. Um, and certainly I know Tess will share a little bit around her testing um, and the emotional side of the oils as well um, in sort of leading into what we're planning for February, which will certainly be a big focus on emotional as well as class as well. So please keep that in mind. We will be there. It's up on our website or on the Facebook group Saturday afternoon. Yeah, so that's in Brisbane. So unfortunately yeah. for people not in Brisbane, that's not going to happen for you guys at, at this point. Okay, so we get going and, right. and get onto our agenda for today. Sure. So there's um, part of uh, business building material that we've been chatting to a couple of builders around where we put out some challenges with Diamond Club kicking off in February. And if you weren't aware, please go and have a look at our group um, around the six people, certainly that we are supporting and sponsoring on Diamond Club. Um, if you're not aware, that kicks off in February. There's a heap of, set of classes and events and some great incentives that the Diamond Club people can actually offer if they support you and get involved in your classes. So please have a look on our group at who's in Diamond Club. But part of that challenge that we're putting out to everyone is um, we want to dare you, and we use those words uh, I dare. appropriately, I dare, and we'll talk through the acronym of I dare tonight and part of what we want to cover off. And that dare is to support you to grow your business in February, March, and April, as we get prepared for convention. So the first part of I dare. Mm. Oh, is this over That's to me? You. If you What's gave me idea? a pause there, so it's probably <laughs> up to me now. Um, so the first part, the I, is for intention. So I just believe in life. We, we really don't get anywhere if we don't have an intention for where we want to go. Now, some people call them goals. I just like to have them and say, what's your vision? What, what do you want? Okay, so again, we're going to come back to this. What is your intention um, in terms of rank? Where do you want to be? You know, I'm talking about short term. I'm talking about long term. Where do you want to be in terms of an income level? Because you are running this as a business. So the income is important for you. You know, we are we are heart-based people, but we're also people who are running a business. So income is important. What sort of income do you want to earn? Um, is it for you more about the feelings, things like connection with others and, and you know, the inspiration that comes with it? So, so I'm putting it out to you, first of all, is to, to throw back a little bit at us um, you know, what do you, what's your intention? What do you want to achieve here? What do you want? What are your goals? Um, and just open up the, unmute yourself and, and share with us what it is that's really, really important. We asked this in the first uh, Thursday, we did this as well this year. So maybe some people who haven't answered yet can, uh, can throw yourself into this one. What do you want? Go. 
Who's going to kick off first? Michelle, I'm going to kick you off. Come on. What do you want, my dear? All right. Steve and I are quitting our jobs this year. Yeah. Before Steve has a heart attack before he's 40. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> we just want more freedom, you know? Like, there's so many things that we want to do and share and learn and we want to share... Um, how amazing these oils are and how much they're benefiting our lives. Um, I have a big class tomorrow that I'm quite nervous about. They've offered to pay me to come to my class. <laughs> I said, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> I could have charged them. But, um, <laughs> but I think I'm just, I'm, have, I feel very confident about this year and what we're going to achieve. Beautiful, Michelle. So we're rank, I want to rank by in the next few days. So we'll see. Okay, so what rank, what rank are you going for this month? Elite. Going for elite. Woohoo! I'm excited for you, and I'd like to get that text from you, though. Tess, I did it. <laughs> we'll okay, you're on. May I? Um, um, thank you for that, Michelle. Can I, um, can I unmute Ricky? Just give me a hands up if, you, if you're okay with that. Yeah, yeah, so, absolutely. Okay. Okay, Ricky, hello. Hi. So um, my goal is to rank in premiere this month, and I yeah. look like I'm set. And then in February to be touching on silver. So, but definitely silver by convention. I am so excited for you, Ricky. Good on you. Now I want to ask you something. Is it hard work for you? Is it doable? Is it something that you see anyone can do? What's your thoughts about reaching? Premier and silver. It's coming with ease and <laughs> much more than I could ever imagine. I'm getting goosebumps, and um, I'm in a position I can make time to have meetings every week and catch ups, and it's it's just growing. Um, it, it's quite exciting, and um, uh, what's also exciting, my sister has had this epiphany. And she's very excited and she's part of my team and just coming into building her business. Fantastic. So Fantastic. I, I'm very well supported and thank you very much for your inspirations. <laughs> oh, well, I'm inspired by you. And thank you for sharing, Ricky. And for those of you who may be meeting Ricky for the very first time, um, Ricky's a very special human being like all of us. We're offering um, uh, um, Reiki, Master Reiki, and all sorts of wonderful things. Are you going to be at um, convention? Yes, oh, the whole fantastic. week. So I'd so love for everyone to say hi to Ricky and sort of just catch up and say, oh, there you are. And, there's you the know, silver. There's the silver. There's I'd so <laughs> like to just everyone to meet up and <laughs> Thanks, say hi. my pressure now. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, um, it's just taken a little just a little bit of something for you to to get to this point where you say it's coming easy, it's all happening, it's, you know, so um, I'm so happy for you that, that things are working out and, and it's looking so positive and you, you are so incredibly positive. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to, oh, Siri wants to talk to me again. <laughs> Hang on. Who else has got an intention they want to share or where they want to be? So, I don't know how to talk. <laughs> Hello, Tanya Honda. <laughs> Hello, do I just talk? Yes, you just do. talk, we can hear you. <laughs> ah, I was a little distracted because the Australia Day fireworks are going off outside my window. Oh, so hang on, I'm just going to see if you can, anyone can see them. Might be too dark. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is what happens when you live on the Gold Coast. Stop saying <laughs> off. <laughs> so that's for anyone's goals. <laughs> so we're going to go for um, <laughs> silver next month. Awesome, Tanya. That's just fabulous. Awesome. Um, and I think uh, um, by shifting the intention of doing it all myself ah. and uh, assisting other people to join in. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, that's it. Oh, not just myself, but but ourselves, ourselves. As in, as in, sort of instead of thinking it's all got to come from us and our efforts. Yes. It actually being the, you know the greater 
the greater team's effort. The greater team. That is fantastic. Uh, you've you've actually led us into the very next part of the idea. We so could, thank we you for that. We couldn't have scripted the transition <laughs> any better. So thank you, Tony. I got I got that for you. <laughs> yeah, I get you. Okay, thanks, Tanya. We'll, we'll move on. That's beautiful, and thanks for the view. It's nice. Right, so Tanya, yeah, cool. move back. <laughs> take a seat, Tanya. So um, I'll bet. the next part of the I dare you is, and, and by the way, I'm daring you to build a million dollar doTERRA business. That's, that's what I'm daring you to do. <laughs> next part is the D. And Tanya led us into that, and that is Craig. Duplicate. <laughs> okay, so you cannot be successful in this business if you think you can do it on your own. So as soon as you wake up to the idea that part of your team is there to do what you can do, but there are more of them so they can actually do it better. And there's a, um, a quote by um, a guy by the name of Robin Sharma. And if you haven't seen Robin Sharma, please go and have a look. He does some really great inspirational stuff. But Robin Sharma has said that the quickest way to grow your sales business is to work on growing your people. So if you stop focusing on what you have to do and then start thinking about how you can grow the people that are part of your team and empower them and teach them to get involved, run classes, share the oils and share their story, that just means there are way more people that are running that business for you and you've then duplicated your business model. So instead of you having to every month find that three or five or 10 or 20,000 volume, You've then got three or four or five people each funding 200 or 300 or 400 and each of those four or five people running four or five classes. So there's 20 classes happening, not just two or three. Mm. So have a think about that. What are you doing in February to duplicate your business? Who are you going to be working with in your team in February, whether it's helping them run a class or whether it's getting some of your builders to connect with the Diamond Club people mm. to help your people learn from Diamond Club people to get those incentives to help them grow their business. And how much time are you going to put in to help teach them, uh, whether it's scripting or uh, follow-up emails or how to hold a class. So just have a think about what, do you got, what have you got scheduled in your diary for February to duplicate yourself? And interestingly, um, I won't talk much longer, but interestingly, there was a comment in uh, one of the, the Facebook groups this last week around what do you send out to your new enrollees and what, what does that email look like? And Lee Rudder made a really, really good point. She wants a system that everyone in her team can follow. So she's created a MailChimp template and she's taught everyone in her business how to use MailChimp and how to send it out. Why? Because it's free, it looks great, and you can track whether people have had a look at it. Mm. So she's made an effort with every person that she enrolls. Here's my template. I'll teach you how to go onto MailChimp. Keep all your members in MailChimp and share it. Instead of, oh, let's everyone go and try and buy a lead train or everyone tries to buy some other software. So she's trying to keep things really basic and simple to duplicate what she does. Okay, so challenge. What are you doing in February to duplicate yourself? All right. You're waiting for answers? Or is it a rhetorical we, we question? Can, we can. Has anyone got anything <laughs> that they've got planned next next month already to duplicate themselves? Yeah, I do. I've got two workshops for two of my team members. I'm running for them. Nice. Excellent. So one new builder. Um, and, um, yeah, I'm actually doing two in one day. They're about an hour or so south of me and sort of, Armadale and Yurala. Yurala is a nice little trendy, arty sort of country town with beautiful cafes with organic food and handmade goodies and shops and all that. So it's a beautiful venue. It's um, Jackie was trying to switch things around and come with me because I don't know how many people. I've actually got quite a lot coming. I think I'll, it's probably going to be my biggest one I've done, but you know, it could be 20 plus people. Um, but... Um, yeah, so that's already booked in, and um, yeah, I'm I'm actually trying to go silver in February as well. So I'm oh, I'll, I'll, I'll be close. 
Benjamin, that's so good. I'm Exciting. just, I'm so, I'm so excited for you because it seems like things are just really starting to snowball a little bit. Yeah, right. my builders are really just starting to come on board. I mean, they've been there, but I think they've just sort of been, I don't know. It's just all of a sudden everyone's like just starting. It's like, and I'm maybe like, well, this is good. Maybe so, this is great. I'm thinking maybe it's got something to do with this, this one year 2017 it's just this new start yeah ricky goes yeah um it maybe it's got something to do just you know yeah beginning you know new beginnings people are coming out of the woodwork for us as well people who've never been really interested in it family members who've never really been interested in it. so it's really good and it's nice to just sort of you know ride the coattails of the the the, the new year feeling i think and, Very good. And we all know if you can keep the momentum it's going, time. you keep the enthusiasm going. Momentum, that's yeah. a big thing. Fantastic. Well done. Anyone else? It's all those 11, 11. I missed that, Minion. Sorry, it's all those 11 11s. Ricky knows it all about my yes, 11 11s. 11. That's that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else got something new or something planned for February to support and duplicate themselves? Yeah. I've got my first. Um, well, I've got a few people that have said they're building but haven't done much yet. But I've got my first one in, who lives in Sydney who's um, running a couple of classes in February for the first time. So, I mean, I'm not really duplicating that. But in terms of um, working out, I, I think I've worked, yeah, had worked out what, exactly what you said, that you can't do it on your own and you really do have to. I mean, I, I've enrolled heaps and heaps of people, but it's just exhausting. <laughs> and so... Uh, and so I think there is that um, not just duplicating in terms of building, but just getting people, more people on LRP. So that's sort of my goal at the moment is when I'm enrolling people to really try to not pushing them to sign up with kits, but just, you know, that's fine. In fact, it's better to spread it out, build your kits slowly over time and really get people more, it's the slow and the slow burn. Yeah. Um, I like that yeah. strategy anyway, you know, I, Personally, I've, I've never signed anyone up with a very large kit. And I think, mm. um, you know, what do you do? You've got a massive big kit and then what? You don't buy on loyalty rewards after that. So I think it's it's a yeah. strategy that, that works really well. And people don't feel mm. overwhelmed by the financial output right in the beginning because they're often unsure. Uh, can I actually have, you know, what do I want to do with these essential oils? Do I want to have a class? There's a lot that they're unsure about in the beginning and so they might lose that momentum. So I think little bits like you're saying, the slow burn, it, it creates even more momentum. So I like it as a strategy. I think it's brilliant to be honest. Yeah. But I also I think that in terms of that duplicating, one of the, my goals for this or for February is to go back to the people that I have enrolled yeah. and go back to offering wellness consults, which I'm doing more deliberately and sit and asking people to hold classes. I've never been good at that. I'd rather just right. do them all at my house and not inconvenience yeah. anybody else. Yeah. Um, exactly. and, but, I, but I want to actually ask people more deliberately and a lot of them are my friends, so surely they'll be nice to me. But, um, and actually, <laughs> start, know, you know, can you get three or four people? No. But that whole getting other people to invite them, duplicating in that way would probably be a goal for me in terms of not burning myself out and annoying everybody I know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well done. Um, that's great. And um, I'm just going to tag on to that and say one of the, the ways that you can actually just, you know, when you're talking to your friends about and people you've signed up to host a class for you, please just, you know, have a personal conversation with them, a nice chat and just say, look, I've got some time on this weekend or on this evening and, I'd really like for you to, um, you know, to get a free gift from me and I'll, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. So give them something small, um, an incentive for them and just, you know, have them invite, make a few, a list of a few friends and invite them. Um, it's, it's really not that hard when they understand there's nothing much expected from them other than to just invite a few friends. Um, so that's a wonderful thing to work towards. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for you that you've, you know, made that, that decision to do that. Um, so where are we on activity? Yeah. So 
I dare, so I is intention, which is what you're planning. D is duplication. Um, and then the A from dare is activity. All right, you're not going to get anywhere if you don't actually get off your bum and do something about it. So we can talk every Thursday night about how long is the list of people that you've been thinking about. But if you don't pick up the phone or actually book some dates in February and start doing something like send an invitation or book in your diary that you are going to go and follow up with your friend and do a wellness consult next week, Thursday at three o'clock, nothing is going to happen. All right. So we know, and I'm quite sure, obviously coming from South Africa, you might have heard the quote by Gary Player, that the more you practice, the luckier you get. He was a golfer. Okay? He was, he was golfer. a top mm. golfer in his day. So the more you practice and the more busy you are and the, act, the more active you are, the better you're going to get at this. You can't expect to invite only three people hoping that all three are going to pitch up and all three are going to sign up with a kit. Okay, so activity we know is really important. So off the back of last week, have you got your list together? Have you booked dates? Not just to um, duplicate yourself, but what dates have you got where you're inviting some of those people to classes with some of the people you're supporting perhaps? Or have you got dates booked in with some of the Diamond Club people for February and March? And what are you planning to actually really do next week? Because everyone's been saying, oh, it's been holidays, it's school, it's Australia Day long weekend. Everyone's gone away this weekend. They're all taking leave tomorrow, so they can't do anything on Saturday. Um, we can't do anything on Sunday because they're coming back from leave. All right, excuses. there's no more excuses <laughs> until about the 18th of April, which is Easter. So we've got February, March, and a good part of April um, to really get in and, and get that activity level going. Mm. So, Daily. yeah, so, um, and that activity also includes what are you doing yourself to develop yourself? Okay, so we've spoken about that last week as well. So what have you learned about doTERRA that's new that you can share with other people? What new product are you going to try next month? Have any of you placed an American order to try an unusual new product that might not be available in Australia? Why? Because you want to talk about it. You want to share with people that there are other products available. Right, so have a think about what that activity is going to look like. Um, if you speak to any of the, the folks that have been really successful um, in the business, they always talk about two, 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 one. Okay, so their two is contact two people every day. Um, the second two is... Or make two new or, contacts. Or make two new contacts. To someone you say, or someone who says to you, well, you smell nice, what's that? Yeah. You know, say, oh, I use the Terra Essential Oils. You know, that's a contact. That's right. Their second two is two follow-ups. So if you've given someone a sample or someone was at a class but they didn't sign up, have a look at who those two follow-ups that you then are following up with um, on that day. The third two is have two events or presentations or classes, and that can be one-on-one, -on -one, but have two of those a week. So who are the two or what are the two events that you're planning next week? And that may be a one-on-one -on -one where you talk to someone about oils. Or it may be you've got a class next Saturday. All right? So have a think about what those two is. And then the final one is what is the monthly one event that you are going to try and organize with your team? And that may be uh, a webinar where you want to try and pull in all your leaders. Or it may be Minion going down to run some joint class training with some of her leaders um, down the coast, or it may be coming to our end of month group face-to-face -face event, which you're going to invite all your team to. So uh, people talk about that. And if you get into a routine, um, you've got the freedom to do it as you like. No one's telling you you have to do it. But if you want a result, you need to get into that activity habit, a habit. and start doing yeah. it continuously. Okay. All right. Does anyone say so Mm -hmm. sure. Sorry, you go first. No, I was just going to say, in regards to, to what you're saying, in regards to activity, and because I live down near Byron Bay, and the thing is around here is that everyone already knows everything, okay? So, <laughs> so everyone's super spiritual and blah, 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 you know, but everyone already knows something. So you try and tell them an essential oil, like, oh, no, I already know about essential oils, you know? Um, but also the thing is they don't use social media. There's a lot of people around here that don't use social media. 
So I kind of started running out of contacts and got like I've invited all my friends from Brisbane, Melbourne, wherever, you know, I've been speaking to all of them. So I was kind of thinking to myself, like, what am I going to do now to try, because I'm meeting, I always meet people, but how am I going to get there? So I made up these little cards and it's like an invite. So it just says you're invited to fun essential oils class and workshop with Michelle. And then I've got where and when. So I take them and they're already blank. And then on the back, I just say, what will you learn about? And then, you know, it's a bunch of things. Learn how to use essentials and cooking delicious treats. And it just goes on and on and on. But what I do is, so like if I meet someone and then we get it talking about essential oils, I'm like, oh, and I, I kind of, I don't, I kind of pretend that I already have a class <laughs> happening. It's like, oh, yep, so something. When are you, you know? And then I, I put in the date that works for them even as well. So, and then I just hand it to them. And then I'll give them a few extras as well to give to their friends or family. So yeah, I find that's the thing, like you can contact people. Yeah. You know, like there are definitely ways to get contacts. Right idea. It's just putting yourself out there. Absolutely. Yeah, well done. You know, there's, um, yeah. It's, that's great. I, I think that's, absolutely, anyone can learn from that. There's in the build guide for Share Success. Yeah, I've actually just posted it um, under Tessa's name in the in our Health Essentially group, um, a Share Success single, single page uh, PDF um, around who you can possibly speak to. Just but something to jog your memory um, to who you possibly could know. And I'm going to just say brainstorming is perhaps a really good idea. And you just go, all your parents, all your family, who, who in your family? You know, you've got cousins and adopted cousins and more cousins and, you know, there's, there's never ending. Um, who has interests in fitness? Uh, who do you know in the natural, you know, industry, natural health industry? Um, your green, my son used the word green grocer the other day, and I said, Where does that come from? Nobody calls you, you know, the, the guy down the veggie, the, veggie, <laughs> the green grocer, that, you know, is funny. Um, anyone you meet up outdoors, who's your accountant? Who's your, uh, you know, babysitter? It's, it's the, the list is absolutely never any. Who did you buy your bicycle from? I don't know. It's just, you know, there's, the, the list is ending. So when we say we run out of contacts is we often think of it as, as the hot contacts. So the, the people we know like really well and the people often we think these will be interested in the oils and then we sort of cold the other ones. We go, they won't be interested in essential oils. Okay, we all do that. We all do that. We say, oh, they won't be interested. We can't be in other people's heads. So. I find often it's the people that seem to me to be the least interested, they're the ones that end up building the business. So, um, yeah, who do you know from school, from colleges? Um, you know, have you ever been in a hotel room, the reception? They need oils, don't they? Um, so it can go on and on and on. There's, there's a, you know, you, you know thousands of people. If you actually start thinking about it, you know thousands of people. So just... You know, be be aware of that and you put it out there. Can I just say something, Tess? Yeah. Who's yeah. this? Where's who? Ricky. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, hello, Ricky. Hey, um, so one of my events that I'm running, uh, co-creating with one of our team members, Lou, is at the Stanford Plaza and it's an etiquette for girls' day. And I met with the um, <coughs> manager there and we talked about, you know, what was going to be on the menu and we talked about drinks and because they're young girls, I don't want, you know, alcohol to be there. And I, want, I said, okay, I've got an amazing punch that I use and it's got an essential oil in it. Would your chefs be prepared to use my recipe? They're using my recipe in the Stanford Plaza, Brisbane. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Oh my goodness. What a great story, Ricky. <laughs> so the next time so, Elizabeth comes to visit, she's going to have your essential oh. oil punch. <laughs> it, it's really fluky really fluky oh i but, love it but you make a really good point if you hadn't asked yeah it wouldn't have happened 
Now, now, Ricky, that, that to me is just so brilliant. I would love for you to share that over social media and in all the groups and say this is the punch um, that we're, you know, doing for this event. I, I think it's amazing. It's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, well done. Please post it and share it with people. And I think, you know, it just creates that further awareness and say you never know. You, you walk into a place and you, you ask or you initiate a conversation or something comes up, you just have to talk to people, hey. That's great. Very yeah. cool. So I think there are a couple of really good tips there around the um, activity side. Obviously, Michelle, great if you've got cards and things that you can keep on you or hand out. Really good because it can be personalised and you can put a date in and I'm going to follow up with you on this time or let's do a Zoom hookup or a Skype hookup and I'm going to run this even one-on-one -on -one sort of class with you, which is awesome. I've just had an so, idea. I'm interrupting you, yes. but I'm, I'm doing this all the time anyway. So I've just, you know, but on your idea there, Michelle, you can do up your little gift card, the one that I tried so hard to post and didn't quite, you know, gift know the, the gift certificate. So the gift certificate, you can hand it to people as well. So if you make up your gift certificate that says, hey, I'm offering you $150 worth of a wellness consult with me if you sign up with a, an essential oils kit, you can hand that out to people. Okay? Yeah, absolutely. I think Thank you. A, I think that's a great thing as well because it might come in handy for you just to have that little gift certificate with new people who talk to you about health or wellness or whatever. Say, so I've got something that I'm actually, this is what I do and I, I'd yeah. love for you to experience this. Here's a gift certificate for you. Um, yeah. Just an idea. Sorry, I interrupted no you. Oh, yeah. So we're still working through the idea. So we've done the intention. We're working on duplication. We've got our activity going. The third one is repetition, okay? You've got to repeat. So they often say that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and, and expecting a different result. In this case, we want to do the same thing over and over again because we know what the result's going to be. We know that if we run sharing classes and educate, people get interested. They learn about the oils and mm -hmm. they want more. Mm -hmm. You cannot grow your business if you're not prepared to share what you have. And if any of you have heard Paul Ovens talking about the cookie, I'll share with you his story. We are very fortunate that we have an amazing chocolate chip cookie. Or chocolate uh, chip is good. Chocolate chip cookie is good. So okay. it's a wild orange chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> and if somebody finds out about the cookie, they generally want to try the cookie. But if they walk away because they're in Byron Bay and they all know about essential oils, they are the ones missing out. So they're don't, don't they're worry about different cookies. Okay, they, they've got like... different cookies. So don't worry about it because you still have the cookie. Okay, so we are the ones who've got something that we can really share with people, and we need to share that chocolate cookie. And everyone's going to want it, but we need to continually share. So you've got to have your sample bottles with you all the time. Have you got a sample keyring on your car keyring? Who doesn't have one? Give me a hands up. Who, Tanya's uh, got five. You've got heaps. I've got five. Who does not have a keyring? Julie. Julie. Julie, please send me. If you don't have one, Michelle, Michelle. Stella, go send me. Please send me a message because I'm going to gift you one. You have to have one, okay? So send us a direct message after this with a mailing address and your name. Absolutely. And we'll send you a keyring holder. If you don't have a keyring holder, I'm going to show you quickly what it looks like. Yeah, we've got a couple of answers. Oh, we've gone bankrupt. We've got heaps of... <laughs> That's awesome. All right, genuine. We've got, right. A, we've got a supplier because we bought them. This is Craig's one that That's he carries mine. around. Tanya Hodder, don't tell me you don't have one. You've got five, okay? You can't yeah, have... Five. Yeah, five, okay. So if you haven't got samples for a keyring with you, please send us a direct message with your name and an address and we'll mail something out to you so that you've got them. There's no excuse for leaving your house without an essential oil somewhere in a pocket or in a keyring, or you've got to have them because you never know when someone needs digestin or <laughs> lavender or lavender, whatever. Okay, so you've got to have them, no excuse. You must have lavender and lavender's for everything. All right, so the R of dare is repetition. And remember, um, another comment, um, and this is another quote, luck is where skill meets persistence. Okay, luck is where skill meets 
persistence. So there's two parts of that. Firstly, there's the skill bit. You've got to be smart enough to have a key ring to walk out the house <laughs> with essential oils. Okay, so there's a skill. And then there's the persistence about please open the key ring and actually give someone a bottle. And then tell them you're going to follow up because you really want to find out how they've used the oils. So the, the repetition bit is really, really important. Yeah. Okay. okay, you were going to say something about repetition? Yeah, I was just going to say, just on that point is when you repeat and you do your classes and, you know, just continue to do that because you're going to get in the habit of doing that. Um, that's how you're going to have success and, and build your million dollar business is to repeat and, and duplicate and repeat and duplicate. This business is not difficult. Okay, it's a, it's a model that works. The one thing I want to make very, um, I want to make a point on this one is if you have actually set yourself your class date and it's set and you've invited people. Now, some people are going to, you know, you're going to follow up the day was two days before and they're going to say, oh, I can't make it. I've got this going on. I've got that going on. Please have another date ready for them right then, okay? So have another date ready and say, oh, that's okay. I'm having in another class on this day. I'll send you the invitation. I'm sure you'll be able to make that, you know? And, and then the second part of that is do not ever cancel a class publicly. So do not say, oh, guys, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, I have canceled this class. Don't do it, all right? You've said that you're going to have a class. Keep that class date. Do not cancel the class. You can rather invite them to another date. Do you, do you understand where I'm going with that? Because if you've said what you're going to do, you do it. Even if one person can make it, that's one person you get quality time with. And as we've said before, you know, sometimes with that one-on-one, -on -one, um, you get quality builders out of that and people who are really understanding on a much deeper level what these oils are about i actually really like a one-on-one -on -one with people so um i hope that that's something that you'll take on board not not to cancel a class just don't say it's cancelled even if it's even if no one arrives okay and worst case scenario if no one arrives on the day you've got yourself an hour to plan for next week mm -hmm. so in that hour who do you want to follow up with do you want to do a quick text blitz, blitz, blitz? <laughs> Goodness. Um, do you want to just send out a few texts to some people and tell them that you've got another class coming up or whatever? So see it as a gift of an hour if somebody work, doesn't arrive. To work on your business. So take that on. It, it was something you planned for, so use the time and use it appropriately. The other thing I'll say is, and I've heard this before, and it's really important, is if you're expecting 10 people to come to your class, and five people pitch up, never ever say, oh, I don't know what happened to the other five. Mm. Make it about the five who did arrive. Yeah, so that's okay? fantastic. Well say to done. them, thank you for joining me. I've got such great stuff to share with you. Don't even hint at the fact that there might have been more other people who were going to come. Because those five people who are there have gone out of their way to be with you and the last thing they want to hear is, oh, they're not as important because the other five didn't pitch up. So, oh, sorry. So remember that. If, if people don't arrive, don't mention it. Just focus on those mm. who are there. If one arrives, fantastic. They, they're really genuine and they want to be there. So make the most of it. Absolutely. If no one arrives, use the time, plan for the next one. I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I think that's such a great point that Craig makes. And because everyone wants to feel like, oh, they, they are actually, you know, they made the effort to be there and, and you're very, very happy to see them. Uh, next point that I actually wanted to make has just popped out of my head. It's popped out in my comeback. Okay, we're going to move on to sure. the last one, education. So the E for dare is education. All right, and we keep saying that there's a very big part of this business that's about ongoing learning, ongoing education. Um, we're very, very fortunate that there are amazing tools and information that have been built for us. And we're very fortunate to be part of Jesse's tree as part of that. So if you haven't seen, um, Jesse's now just started a complete business builders um, webinar toolkit, basically from start to finish, 
every single possible video that she's ever made. She's cutting into smaller bite-sized pieces. We all have access to that. But besides that, on Tessa's YouTube channel, there's a whole heap of videos from doTERRA. There's a doTERRA playlist. There's doTERRA education playlist. You've just got to put your hand up and ask for information, all right? I said earlier that um, luck is when skill meets persistence. You have to have the skill bit. You have to be able to listen to people and you have to be able to have that wellness consult, but you've got to offer a solution or a suggestion or an idea when you start having a wellness consult. You can't have a wellness consult if you're not going to be able to say to them, hey, there's a fantastic oil that you might want to try, or you might want to try the, uh, the Lifelong Vitality Kit, or you might want to try the doTERRA DDR oil, um, the liquid from the US, or you might want to try the On Guard soap cleaner for your house if you want to get rid of all those, those chemicals. But you cannot talk about those things if you don't make the time to educate yourself. So if you're genuine about building your business, you're going to learn about it. Because if you were going into business as an accountant, you would study to be an accountant, wouldn't you? You wouldn't go in and open an accounting business not knowing what a debit or credit was um, or not knowing what MyOB software was or whatever. So in doTERRA, if you're going to be serious about your business, make sure you educate yourself and make time for that. So in planning your week, when are you going to sit down and watch some videos? When are you going to read up on spikenard is the new oil that's been released? Or when are you going to read up on the new products that have come out. Uh, when are you going to learn something new about growing your business or about how to market? Or when are you going to learn about how to use Facebook? You know, find those little things that you want to learn about, mm. put them in your plan and learn something new. And we said that two weeks ago. We challenged people to go away <laughs> and learn something new. So, again, the challenge is out there. Challenge I is dare out you. there. I dare you. Work on that knowledge <laughs> and that education. That's lovely. Um, Craig, I actually, did you want to say no, something on that? Yeah. Um, and just, we just got a couple of minutes left. And I just want to throw out a few tips here to people quickly about um, <clears throat> running your class. Um, I've had to um, correct a few people actually over the last few weeks. And I don't like correcting people. Um, I used to be called as a kid Einstein because I always knew everything. Um, smart ass. So it's not about correcting people, but when you, I know I've got some people laughing at me right now, the, um, the way to talk about having a class is to call it a class. Um, Michelle, you would have remembered the class that I did with you, you guys the other day, which was just a, a beautiful, beautiful class, is I stood up there and I said, guys, this is not a party. This is a class. We're here to be educated on essential oils. So I think that's really, really important to bring for yourself across. We are not doing essential oil parties when we're sharing the oils with people in an educational um, environment. Now, you can go have a party with the essential oils later. You can put them in a margarita. You can do, you know, whatever you want with your party. But when you're educating people about the oils, Call it a class. Say to them, this is the tone that we're setting in this class. This is the intention for this class. Um, and call it a class. So please don't invite people and say, come to my party, my essential oil party. Um, you can do that um, afterwards. You can do the party, but after the education. Um, so I think that is really important to set the tone because it is a business that you're running. And it is fun. We have a lot of fun um, doing it. Um, but yeah, that, that's just my, my tip for the Tessa's tip. I like that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So quick wrap, wrap up then guys, and we'll finish up on this one. Um, I dare you and we dare you. Um, you've got an amazing opportunity with Diamond Club over the next um, four months. Um, there's some amazing people that are part of Diamond Club. I know for a fact that there are probably 20 or 30 functions already booked as in classes already booked and, as Ricky said, there's the Stanford Plaza and there's a whole heap that I know Jackie's involved in. If you're not aware of those, please have a look at our Facebook group. Um, I've seen posted in there today already some folks that have got February dates already in the group. Um, we've got some wellness advocates down in Tweed that have already connected with Lee Rudder 
um, and are doing joint classes down on the Gold Coast and Tweed area. Um, there are really good incentives that Diamond Club people can offer your people yep. when you enroll them as long as the Diamond Club person was at the class. And, and actively so, involved and in actively the And actively involved in they the class. They can even come run those classes for you. So That's right. it's really, it's such a wonderful opportunity for everyone in this whole organization to get involved with the Diamond Club and support them. Uh, because they're doing a lot of travel, a lot of work, um, being away from their families often. There's a lot of commitment that goes into Diamond Club for these wonderful people. But they're also there to help you build your business. So tag on to them. And if you're not sure how to do that, just get in touch with your upline. You know, we've got Jackie, we've got Catherine, you've got me, you've got um, Jane, Tanya, and, Jane and, yeah. and, and Tanya Kelly and as Kelly well. as well. So... <laughs> You know, there's, there's plenty of uplines um, and these are just our direct um, builders um, and many of you um, just able to, if, if you can just support the, um, the Diamond Club, they'll support you in growing your business as Definitely. well. Definitely. And, and try and take those blinkers off as well. Don't just think about where you might be living. Um, we've got folks that are running classes in Perth. We've got people running classes in Darwin. In Melbourne, Sydney, Tasmania, I know in February, their class has been run by people in our business in Tasmania. So if you know people in those areas, get on the phone, invite them, say, hey, I've got a really good friend running a class in Tasmania on the 27th of February. Would you like to go? I can probably secure you an invitation. I might be able to squeeze you in. You know, like make it a huge, huge story to get them on. So we dare you to make an effort. Get out there, look at duplicating your business, get the activity going, make sure you've got the repetition and work on that education. Four classes, I dare you guys to have at least four classes, at least one, every week of February. If you can do two a week, absolutely amazing. But I dare you for four. Okay, and send me your, if you haven't got one of these, send me your um, details and we'll get you one. All Very right, good. guys. Thanks, folks. We'll leave it there, I think. And um, any of you looking to join us on Saturday afternoon, look forward to it. Otherwise, we'll be online next Thursday evening again. Okay. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Have a great evening. Happy Australia Day. <laughs> <laughs>